Hi, and welcome to Sprout Studio V3, your checklist. In this video series, we're running through the main things that we think you would love to do to really take advantage of Sprout Studio V3. In the last video, I talked about setting up your price list and just making sure everything is looking good in terms of your prices, confirming that you don't wanna maybe add some more options and some choices. And we even talked about going in and setting up Visualizer for your individual items in your price list. In this video, we're gonna kind of continue that one and talk a little bit about shop. Uh, so we're gonna kind of go away from the main area of prices and go more into the shop view and tweak and customize. Now, the way that you are sitting right now before you do anything in shop, the shop is going to be turned off by default unless you turned it on in the migration. And in that migration, it would have been turned on into automatic mode. Now I'm gonna hop in and show you what all that means. And then we're gonna run through how you can actually customize your shop in the all new Sprout 3. So let's hop into it. So I have the price list pulled up here in V3. This is with all of the print items and the products and the packages and everything that we talked about in the last video about setting that up. So let's kind of assume that right now you have that all set up the way that you want it to be set up. And I'm happy with all of that. Now this right here, this big button to disable or enable your shop, that is to enable it on the front end. So you can either disable things from your gallery. So when your clients go to their gallery, they would just be able to purchase individual prints or individual products and services. They wouldn't be able to go into the full shop. If you want to enable the shop, then you can go ahead and click the enabled button there and it will turn on the shop and then you can click the shop layout here to go ahead and customize it. So by default, your price list will have shop disabled unless you turned it on in the migration, in which case if you clicked on, then you'll see it like this uh, by default. So let's hop into edit shop layout. Now when you click this, I'm not gonna click it yet, but when you click it, the whole screen changes, <laughs> the whole view changes. So when you click it, you're gonna now see your shop over here and it's drag and drop and it's really easy to work with. You can customize how everything is configured. So let's go ahead and click edit shop layout. So here we are. Now, I wanna just note quickly here, I already have this shop turned on to custom layout, which means I've already gone in and configured this and dragged things around and made it really, really simple and really beautiful. I'm gonna turn this back into auto mode though, and we're gonna get back to this place um, by just kind of tweaking and customizing it ourselves. So let's go ahead and click auto mode. I'm gonna go yes into auto mode, and I'm actually gonna go into finish editing shop, and what I wanna show you, because there is a little toggle here in main settings, that you can choose to preview all of this with a certain brand. So if you have more than one brand and you want to preview what it'll look like with one of your brands, then you can go ahead and click that to preview what that looks like. So now I'm previewing it with that brand with these pretty pink colors here. So when in auto shop uh, or auto layout mode for the shop, basically as you add items, so if you add new prints or if you add new products or if you add new packages or anything that you add over here, it will automatically add them to the shop. So it's an auto mode, you don't have to think. Think of it as the autopilot mode. Everything will always look good, it'll be added in, it'll be perfect. So that's in auto mode. So right out of the gate, as soon as you start setting things up from that last video, uh, you know, with your different visualizers, with your different unsplash images, so on and so forth, by default, everything will just look beautiful. So this is how it's gonna look right here, it looks great. Now what you can do is you can click into the rows, these whole sections. So by default, we put all of your prints together, we put all of your products together, we put all of your services together, we put your digital files together, and we put your packages together. Now it's important to note that over here, when you're building a package, you can specify whether it's for bookings only or galleries only. We'll actually make two different sections for you because the bookings only ones, we will not show on the front end there for galleries. So that's just like an important note to make there. So if I go back into auto shop layout or edit shop layout, you can see here I've got those sections. Now I can click into any one of these, I can click edit, and over here on the side, I have edit section styling and design. Now I can just quickly, it's automatically in auto mode, I can't change that because the whole thing is in auto mode, so I can't change that. However, I can change the styling of this. So if I prefer this sort of floating layout or if I prefer this on top layout, I can, change the breathing space between them. So you can kind of tweak a few things. You can also add uh, a heading and a subheading here. So you can kind of tweak that if you'd like to. And then you can also go in over here and tweak what's actually shown here. So if you want to show 
the item name, if you want to show the summary of it as well, if you want to show that from price, and if you want to show the button. And you can open up the button and change what the button text is, how it formats, how it shows up, so on and so forth. So there's a lot of options in here for what you want to show or what you can show. And this is still just in auto mode. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And again, just kind of look at a couple other ones here. If I go into here, you can do the same kind of thing. You can tweak how this looks, maybe choose different styling. Whatever makes sense for you, you can tweak all of that. So that is if you're in auto mode. You cannot drag and drop when you're in auto mode. You can't add new items. Everything by default is added to this. So again, this is sort of the autopilot version of this. Now, if we flip on over into custom layout mode, it's going to give us a quick little warning. Not a bad warning. It's an exciting warning. But basically, this means now you're in control. So things will not be automatically added or removed from your shop. You now have full control. So now you can take these and you can drag and drop them. Move them over there. You can move it over here. If you want to make a new section, you can drag it up and make a whole new section. You can take any of these and tweak whatever you'd like to in these sections here. So if you want to make new sections for all of these, you can do that. Make a new section there. So now we have full layout sections there. You can combine things. You can remove things. You can do a lot of different things here. So this is really where you can get in and, and tweak this as much as you'd like. Um, I personally love the look of how these all look as their own sections. So I'm going to drag these into having their own sections and I'm going to go into each one and I'm going to click that. I'm going to click edit and I'm going to specify how I want this to be laid out. So if I want it to be full width and dark mode, there's full width dark mode. If I want to go split left or split right, I can. So kind of set it up like that and maybe I want to go in here and customize what's being shown. So there's that. I love how that looks right there. I'm going to go into this one. I'm going to click edit. Click edit right there. There we go. Um, and let's go now into the split on the opposite side. And we'll kind of go like that. Let's turn on the summary for that row and click done. Same thing down here. I'm going to click edit here. I'm going to go split left. And I'm going to turn summary on and click done. Same thing here. Click here, edit. Split right, turn summary on. And there we go. Now, of course, if you want to tweak the order of these, so if you want to take this entire section and move it up or down, of course, I mean, you can drag this and combine it, or if you want to leave it and you want to just move the whole section, move the whole section down by pressing that down button there, and that moves the whole thing down just like that. So maybe you kind of put frame to print first, and then let's put this matted folio print go like that. How's that? Looks good. Awesome. So yeah, that is how you set up those. That's like a quick little split left, split right view. I love how this looks. Let's go engagement book. Let's go on into this. This is in full auto, or I'm sorry, full uh, style. I'm going to go dark mode for that because I love how that looks. And I'm going to build in the description there or the thing there. And that looks great. Let's go down into this one. Um, let's now customize how this looks. Let's go into maybe the floating style and we'll keep it into dark mode. Um, but maybe here I'm going to add in the description. Yeah, I like the description. Um, and we'll kind of leave those like that. Let's go up into here and let's actually add a section and a subsection there. There we go. Love how that looks. And maybe let's add this on up here. Let's move this up and turn this into dark mode. Keep those two dark sections together. I love how that looks. And maybe for these ones, I'm going to go back into split left, split right, split left. Love how that looks. Maybe I'll go dark mode for these. Yeah, there we go. I love that. Dark mode there. Perfect. And then we'll leave those like that. So there. So now I've got like this really beautiful shop that I've just been able to fully customize how all this works and how all this looks. And you can see how easy that was to customize. The last thing I want to do here is click edit up here and edit the hero. So by default, you have an item slider, which will just automatically slide between some of your items in there, all customized for this beautiful uh, full width section. Or you can just go static content and you can upload your own image or choose an unsplash image. So I've got a photo of myself up there. Maybe go light, now I'll go dark, and then you can customize what's actually displayed. So what the heading is, what the description is, what the button is, what it says, so on and so forth. I'm gonna go back into item slider though. And let's go save. And so I'm gonna go finish editing shop, I'm going to click save and then let's close this 
There we go. And let's go look at see what this looks like on a gallery. So if I go into my galleries here. Going to open up one of them. All right, and here we go. So I'm going to click View Gallery, and here we are. Now, as you can see, as I'm in here, everything is just the gallery. If I click Order on the left-hand side, this little slides out over here. These are all the items that have a single image required to purchase them. So this is a print, a matterfolio, framed print. So if I click Framed Print, that pops on open there. The client can see everything that's in there. They can choose the frame. That will all affect price if you've adjusted price for those as well. Choose their mat thickness. They can choose their paper type. Choose the options, whatever they choose to have for that. Uh, they can also choose the size, obviously. They can rotate it if they want to rotate it. They can click crop, and that way you know exactly how it's going to be submitted. Maybe they want to rotate that and crop that maybe a little bit better. We'll kind of go like that. Now, we restricted them being able to decrease the size of that for obvious resolution issues. Um, so it's just kind of up and down or left and right like that. I think that looks really beautiful like that, though. Uh, maybe I'll go with a darker frame. No, I'll go like that. It looks beautiful. Um, just like that again, this is now how all this looks. You can see that more details from the previous section and they can click add to cart and there it is in their cart. Now let's go look at the full shop. If I click shop right here, this is now the view with those images from the client's gallery right into the shop the way that we just customized it. So you can see just how beautiful this is. Let's say they want to collect that. So now this is where they can choose the images for the collection and go on from there. So really beautiful and really easy to work with here. And if they're in here now and they haven't chosen an image yet, they can click this choose photo, grab a photo that they want to order, pop it on in, and there we are. Now again, they can crop it, bring that on down. go and add that to the cart. And that is how you set up your shop in all new Sprout V3 as a part of this checklist feature. Enjoy setting up your shop.